What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. The Grinch was directed by Scott Mosier and Yaro Cheney and stars Benedict Cumberbatch, Cameron Silly, and Farrell Williams. And the story it goes the same as the other two. A grumpy Grinch plots to ruin Christmas for the village of Whoville by stealing all their presents on Christmas Eve. Now, I'm going to go right into the positives, y'all. This movie was done by Illumination, who also brought out the Despicable Me movies, Minions, Secret Life of Pets, and so on. The animation done by Illumination's Matt Guff was done really well. It looked really beautiful. It was all animated. It was more for the kids. The animation was no problem for me. This one felt a little more like the original. What I mean by that is the original had this kind of gap, this wall in between the Who's and the Grinch. Like nobody really mentions who the Grinch is. None of the Who's in this movie or the original was like, oh, there's the Grinch. I know who he is. Not like in the Jim Carrey version where everybody knew who he was. So there was a little bit of a gap there, but it was a hats off to the original, so I thought that was pretty good. Danny Elfman's score was okay. I mean, it had some Christmas music in it, but it was more hip-hop-ish in a way. Pharrell Williams narrated this, and he's the guy that rapped uh, several times with Snoop Dogg, which I thought was kind of an odd casting choice. I thought they were going to go with Brad Dorif, the voice of Chucky, to narrate. It would have been really cool actually having Chucky narrate something like this. <laughs> but they decided to go with Pharaoh Williams instead. Chris Cartagena's editing was done really well. It wasn't too choppy or anything. It was done just perfectly. I think the kids really enjoyed this. When I went and seen it in theaters, some of the kids really laughed and some of the adults too. All right, so the negatives. Unlike the Jim Carrey version, I didn't really find the characters all that enjoyable. Benedict Cumberbatch was a good choice to play the Grinch, which was also the first English actor, I think they said, to play the Grinch since Boris Karloff in 1966. But as far as the characters goes, like I said, this movie was directed more towards the kids than, than the adults. When the Jim Carrey version was pointed towards both the adults and the kids. So, of course, it's going to be different. This movie was made in its own way. It wasn't a sequel. It, although it wasn't another remake, it wasn't a sequel, and it wasn't nothing like the last one. I, going into this movie, I knew what I was to expect. I knew it was an all-animated movie. I knew it was shorter. It was going to be shorter than the last one. I knew what I was getting myself into, and I didn't really have that high expectations, but I did find it enjoyable somewhat. Michael Lucier and Tommy Swerdlow's script wasn't as strong. It, it, it just, the message and, it, like I said, it was directed more towards the kids. They wanted it to be direct, straight to the point. Whereas with the Jim Carrey version, it went more into detail. It went more into the Grinch's past. And that's another problem I have with this one. I didn't feel like the Grinch's motivations was that strong for him to even care. I really didn't think this Grinch was a true Grinch. Not the one that I'm used to. His motivations for stealing Christmas and this was a little weak because it just showed what happened to him in the past in passing. It was very short. I just, I didn't really agree with it. I mean, yeah, I still got the fact that he was lonely and nobody had included him. But it wasn't nothing like bullying or anything like what the Jim Carrey version dealt with. And I thought that was stronger than this. Like I said, the, the reasons the Grinch hated Christmas in this I thought was a little weak. They could have done a little better, but again, they made something. And I'm not downing it completely because they made something. They wanted to throw something new in there, I guess. And it's for the kids. They, they, they really enjoyed it. And that's I guess that's all that matters. But as a critic, I have to put, point these things out. And the pacing was a little off. It just didn't move me as much as the last one. It didn't make me cry. It did boil up some emotions, but as far as crying goes, it didn't take me to that level. When I go see a movie like this, I actually want to feel it. I really didn't feel it to the max with this one, not like with the Jim Carrey version. And like I said, the feel of this movie, it, it just, it wasn't as strong for me. It didn't resonate with me as much. It didn't 
touch me on a personal level. But my final thoughts for this movie it is more for the kids. So, like, if you're a parent or a grandparent and you want to find something to do on a weekend with your grandchild or with your kids, take them to go see this. They will enjoy it. Unlike us critics, they won't care about all the things I just spouted out. They will enjoy themselves. It is a good animated film for the whole family. Guys, The Grinch gets a C. I'm sorry, folks. I know a lot of y'all liked it. I know it's making big bucks at the box office. As far as I can tell, it is being critically praised. But as far as this cat goes, mm. once you grow up with a certain generation of movies and the way they're presented, you can't really teach an old dog new tricks. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. And make sure to subscribe to the Reactor Reactions Galore, which is in the description down below. And also, like the Reactor and the Repster on Facebook, which is also down below in the description. Happy Holidays, Happy December, and Peace the Rep Out.